So the award for the biggest dummy dumbhead goes to me, but anyways guys, welcome to episode number 45 here of our Pokemon Emerald Let's Play, and in case you guys didn't know, my name is Stryker. So let's go ahead and hop into the video, so remember how I couldn't find the, uh, the Team Aqua hideout? Uh, yeah. It was right here. The whole time! It was right here. Right here. Like, it wasn't even hard to do. Uh, but anyways, we're gonna seek out all of these little bad dudes in here and see if we can get all of our Pokemon all upgraded and all trained up and everything like that, because obviously we are still pushing towards the Elite Four, which is the ultimate goal at the end of the game, right? Is to beat the Elite Four and become the Pokemon Champion. Ay 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 ay! Suspicious character spotted! Alright, cool beans. Anyways, guys, I do apologize for being completely lost at the end of the last episode, but that's okay. We're here now. We know what we're doing. Also, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Because, why not? It's free, it helps me out, helps the channel out, and it helps the video out. Also, I shouldn't have Gardevoir as my lead Pokemon. I should probably have Altaria or Manectric. Uh, so let's go ahead and put Manectric in to start. Yeah, why don't you do that? Also... Like I said yesterday, in case you missed that episode, if you don't watch me on Twitch, go check me out over there, twitch.tv slash striker on Twitch. It's not hard to find me, and I livestream pretty much every day uh, in the afternoon. Uh, usually, usually I'm on by 6 o'clock unless it is a Wednesday, and then I'm on it usually around 7 o'clock, and I livestream until 10 or 11 o'clock depending, and I also do stuff while I'm, I have the weekend time. So, yeah, I usually do long, long streams when I'm on the weekend. So there you go. 640 bucks in our pocket. Easy peasy. I took the loss for the team, but I did my job. Are you sure about that? Let's go ahead and switch Gardevoir and Altaria, though. Actually, let's do that. Gardevoir, just in case we get into a double battle, we don't want to end up having an issue there. Unfortunately, we cannot run. We can only walk in this area, but this is cool. We get to take out Team Aqua. Oh no, it's one of these things. Gosh darn it. Okay, well we get to take out Team Aqua to the best of our ability. Like we all know, I try to battle as much as possible. Yawn, keeping watch over the hideout bores me. I'll take you on. Sure, uh, but yeah. So we're gonna try to do as much training and battling in here as possible. Try to get to the end of the maze I'm sure that we're gonna be faced with here. And we'll see what happens. I think we get a Master Ball in here. So that's kind of cool if that's what actually happens. Okay, so we've got a Carvana. We can go ahead and use... I guess Dragon Breath? Sure. And that's a one-hit KO. Okay, we only have seven levels. Seven levels difference! And we still can one-hit KO the opposing Pokémon. That's ridiculous. 640 bucks yet again. Some Poké Smackaroonies. Ooh, see, this is what I was talking about. Double battle right here. So there's a teleporter over there, but there's a double battle right here. So we're gonna take this battle for sure. If you want to know the secret about our hideout, you have me to beat. It's not gonna be hard. Hey, you there. Hey, you there, you there. I see you over there. I want you to... Alright, sorry. <laughs> Which do you think is cooler? Team Aqua's uniform or Team Magma's? I think y'all look like a bunch of goons, alright? You should be wearing whatever you want to wear. Just wear your little official, I'm a member of Team Aqua badge, I guess. I don't know. Personally, I'd have to go with the uh, Magma uniforms if I had to choose, just because I like red over blue. That's that's really it. That's really all I got for you. So, you know, it is what it is. Alright, so we are going to Dragon Breath, the Puccina, and then we will spark the Zubat. So Dragon Breath, hopefully, will be a one and done. That it is, one hit KO and oh ho Right? Something like that. And we've got 181 EXP going to each of them. Alright, cool. So two Zubats now. So we've got Spark. That Zubat's gonna go down because it's a flying type. It's super effective! Didn't see that coming. Thank you, Pokemon. Alright, Altaria 178. Same thing for Manectric. Not sure how close either one of them are to leveling up. I think Altaria was at least semi-close. Okay, so we also learned that Dragon Breath will one-hit KO the Carvana. And then we can spark the Zubat, and we should make it out without taking any damage. Unless the Zubat has, like, Quick Attack or something. Which I don't think is a move that it can learn. Uh, 291 EXP a piece, though, so that's pretty good. Then spark. Wham-bam. 
Thank you, ma'am. Super effective. Knocked your boy right out. And 178 EXP brings Altaria to level 40. Dragon Dance. Okay, what does Dragon Dance do? Sure. Isn't this what it, like, raises stuff? Attack and speed. Uh... If I were playing Pokemon Showdown, I would use this, because it's a lot easier to see it and plan it. But I like all-out offensive teams when it comes to just going through the games, so don't worry about Dragon Dance. Alright, Manectric will not get to level 40, but that's okay. I can't win at all. That's true, especially when you face me. I lost in a cool way. By getting... one hit KO'd twice? Or hideout secret? Well, let's just say there's a submarine at the far end. But by now, I don't know what that means. But we'll take this one. Okay, new room. We gotta do patrolling over here. And another pad. Is that it? Two pads. Okay, well let's let's battle this dude, and then we'll see what this one below me does. Wahahaha! I grew weary of waiting. You owe me a battle too. Well, there you go. So I guess they all know that I'm coming. And that's okay with me, because, well, why not? All right, Team Aqua Grunt would like to battle and sent out a Carvana. We obviously know how this is gonna go, a one-hit KO, if I do have to rhyme every time, because I'm a poet and didn't know it. Bam, bars. Fast cars. Among the stars. Yes. <laughs> anyway, 603 EXP and defeated Team Aqua Grunt. Tired of waiting, lost and dazed. I got 640 Pokebucks for winning. Seems like a pretty common theme. Boss, is this good enough? No, no it's not, buddy. You got taken down by a kid. By a little kid. Okay, so that brings me over here, perfect. Okay, cool, one nest ball, that's fine with me. I think I do have another nest ball, actually, in my bag. That I've not used for anything. I, I think it's like, for a certain type of Pokemon or certain situation. I don't know. I, obviously, I don't have a whole lot of experience with using a bunch of different Pokeballs. Let's squeak right by... Did, did I really just do that? Come on, man. It's empty. Okay. Well, always check them just in case. Just never know. What's up, though? We can battle. What's up? Fuel supply loaded. A-OK! -okay. In crew snacks loaded. A-OK! -okay. Nothing left to do but KO a pesky meddler. I doubt that, sir. Actually, I highly doubt that. I bet you are going to get defeated quite easily with your one Pokemon. Is it a Zubat? It is a Zubat. Should be easy enough to take down. It's not a very uh, bulky Pokemon. Uh, we'll go ahead We'll go ahead and use the good old Dragon Breath. That was an interesting sound to try to make to roll a D sound. It was kind of like a TDR sound. It was interesting. Anyways, Aqua Grunt is defeated. I took a serious licking. That's false. That's false. 100% false. I detest all rumors. That was supposed to happen. My mission was to just hold you up. Well, you still did a bad job. So it didn't take me very long, sir. Okay. Let's go ahead and get to another double battle here. Warp panels, the hideout's pride and joy. You're clueless about where you are, aren't you? Bluster and tire out the enemy, then lower the boom. That's our plan. Okay. When I joined Team Aqua, the first thing I had to learn was how these warp panels connected. I mean, I'm doing a pretty good job of it. We did end up skipping one of them, though, a little while back. So we're gonna have to go back through and see if we can figure them out. So let's see, we've got a Zubat and a Carvana. Pretty typical for what we see here among all of the Team Aqua grunts. Alright, so obviously... We know what we're gonna do here. Dragon Breath, Carvana, Spark, Zubat, bam, done! Both of them are level 32, which is a little bit higher than our last double battle, when it was uh, 31 apiece, but that's okay. Super easy still. Uh, one shot, and there we go. Manectric is now level 40. I thought he was getting close. Look at that special attack. Man, 105 with a 109 speed. It's amazing. Alright, Spark, knock that Zubat out. Good night. Thank you. Let's see, how much are we getting? A whopping 184! Twice! Woohoo! Alright, Team Aqua Grunt and Team Aqua Grunt were defeated. What's wrong with you? You're not tired at all! I was too occupied 
Thinking about the warp panels, uh huh. Yeah, I'm sure you are. 1280 bucks, which is 640 times twice, which again is a pretty simplistic reoccurring theme that we have found. Oh, what was that? I don't want to go this far yet. Because that's, that's the, uh, the submarine over there. So I don't want to go there yet. We got to go back to, I don't know, I think it's like the beginning, actually, when we skip the one warp panel. They're not very hard to figure out where they go. Okay, so we knew where that one went down there, because that went down to that item. Okay, we'll go ahead and backtrack this one. And then there was one that was down here on the left. We battled her already. But there's one that was down here, and there was also another one that was up at the beginning. Okay. Oh, yikes. Uh, oh, it worked. Okay, let's go to the far one. Hey, look at that! We got into the room with all the Pokeballs. Oh, it's a Pokemon, it's not an item. <laughs> LOL. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. It's a, a level 30 Electrode. Alright, let's go Altaria. Uh, on second thought, let's, uh... Well, you know what, let's try it. Sonic Boom's gonna hurt a little bit. It's not too bad, though. Dragon Breath. An Electrode at level 30 outspeeds me, wow. Okay. As long as it doesn't use, like, thunder, we're good. That should be good. Yes, okay. And Altaria is Flying Dragon, I do believe, so... It's still gonna hurt. It's still gonna hurt. It's gonna be times two damage for the electric. So let's go ahead and switch just for this little bit here. We'll put Gardevoir in just to see if these are items or not. Okay, one nugget. That's good for me. Put a nugget away. Found a Master Ball! There it is! Okay, cool. So now we can catch whatever Legendary we want without a scuff. Okay, I kind of figured that this was going to be another one of the Electrodes, and that's why I put the Gardevoir up in front. Easy peasy. Alright, so go Gardevoir. Alright, so let's see. We've got Psychic is pretty much our only move on Gardevoir still. We, need, we definitely need to get that fixed, but that's okay. For now, we're surviving. We're surviving and thriving. 642 EXP and about two-thirds of the way. What are these? Is that gonna tell me? Okay. So now we need to do Pokemon. Not bag. And then we can switch and put Altaria back in front. Okay. So let's go back through this one. Now we didn't figure out where this one went. It goes back up here. Okay. Did we try all of these? Okay, so these these all literally just connect to one another. They don't go to anywhere special. Nope. Okay. Cool. So we can take this and get back out. And then we can go up to the beginning. Which is up here. On the left. We've got to go to the other portal. Because we chose to go to the left, we need to try going to the right. Okay. Perfect. Max Elixir. Yes! Okay. Now we can backtrack all the way back again. Okay, so we went to the right over here. This is like a, a super simple let's play, just follow what I do from that point on. How to get through all of these warp panels all the way to the end, super easy. So we go through that one. Go through the door. Then we go to this portal over here on the right. The warp panel, rather, not portal, panel. Panel. Then we go up here through the doorway. And then we go over here to the right, to the other doorway because there's nothing else to do in that room. Then we go this way. Take this warp panel. And now we're back to where we were. And I'm not sure where this one leads, but we'll get to that. That's the submarine, though. Hehehe! <laughs> Got here already, did you? We underestimated you, but this is it. I'm a cut above the grunts you've seen so far. I'm not stalling for time. I'm going to pulverize you. Ho 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 ho! Those are some pretty, uh, pretty big claims there, sir! What are you, the leader? Aqua Admin Matt. So no, you're not even the leader. Isn't that lame? Alright, well, you got a mighty Yena. That's fine with me. Oh, we're gonna lose some attack, and that's, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. No biggie. So we're gonna fly. So you can't hit me, mighty Yena, so good luck with that. Scary face! Scary face! Didn't work, though. Alright, I'll tear you use fly. And we should be good. Oh, wow. That was actually pretty bad. Can't escape, right? 
Speed harshly felt. Oh, just kidding. Okay, well now Mighty Ina's got the, uh, the upper hand here. Okay, so the, the sharply raised attack means our attack is up to pretty much where it started, but we also are confused. Don't touch the keyboard, just let it do its thing. Dang it! Okay, well, there's always a different method for how it might work and how it might not work, and it just didn't work that time. Okay, so we have three moves that Mighty Ina knows that are non-damaging moves. That's a bit ridiculous, in my opinion. Okay, Super Potion, that raises what, 50? I think it's 50 HP. We should be able to double Dragon Breath and knock it out, though. Ooh, that almost knocked it out. Okay, Swagger yet again. I don't know why that's actually a move. I feel like it's too much of a gamble, in my opinion, but that's okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna do A, B over and over. A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B. And hurt itself in confusion. There used to be, way back in the day, like on the original games, of uh, blue and red, and I think yellow did it too, but I'm not sure. But there were ways to almost guarantee that you would either not be confused or that you would catch a Pokemon by the way that you press the buttons, how fast, and what order, and all that. Uh, yes, we're gonna switch. You're gonna bring out a Golbat, so I'm gonna bring out a Manectric. Um, but yeah, it, w it was a glitch, like, way back, way back when they came out. It wasn't, like, something that stuck around, obviously, but yeah. It was something that you could do. You could use and abuse a little bit, so it was fine. Right, we'll go ahead and do Spark. I don't know if it'll be a one-hit KO. I would prefer it to be, but I'm not quite sure. Alright, Manectric became confused, of course. Manectric is confused and hurt itself in confusion. We have the absolute worst luck with that, don't we? Jeez Louise. A wing attack there from the Golbat. Not too bad, though. Not too bad. Okay, Manectric snapped out of confusion. Solid. It's a one and done for both Pokemon. And yes! It is super effective, and it is a one and done scenario. Golbat fainted, and we got 1,245 EXP, player defeated, Aqua Admin Matt. Hee hee hee! So, I lost two. And I got 1360 Pokebucks for winning. Hee hee hee! While I was toying with you, our boss got through his preparations. Hee hee hee! Our boss has already gone on his way to some cave under the sea. If you're going to give chase, you'd better search the big, wide sea beyond Lily Cove. But will you find it then? <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, there's another little portal this way, and we can now go to the east of Lily Cove to continue our adventure. So that will bring us to the end of this episode. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody, and I will see you all next time.